Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 2022 and in this video I will show you 7 best developer option settings that you can enable in this tablet for maximum performance. Okay, so in the first part I will show you how to enable the developer options. Okay, so first of all you have to go into the settings okay so once you enter into the settings you have to scroll down okay and you see this last option it says about tablet just select it so once you select it here you see this option of software information okay on the right side you see this third option software information just select it so once you select it here you see this option of build number okay so this build number so you have to tap it seven times okay so one two three four five six seven okay so now here you see it says developer mode has been enabled okay now what you have to do you just have to scroll down from here okay and you see this new option is now available it says developer options just select it okay so now everything is done now let's move to the settings the first setting is about screen timeout so guys if you uh, go into the display setting okay so here i go into the display and here you see this option of screen timeout so the maximum screen timeout we have 30 minutes so it means after 30 minutes the screen will sleep or it will turn off but if you want to uh, stay awake your screen all the time so what you can do now you can go to the developer options and here you see this option of stay awake okay just enable it okay so the screen will never sleep while charging so it will always remain on okay so this is the first setting the second developer option is about running services so guys for example if i select this recent button okay and even i turn off all uh, my apps that are running in the background so i will close all of them okay so now all of them are closed there is no app running in the background but there are some apps still running in the background and if you want to see them you can use this option so go into the settings okay and then go again to the developer options okay and here you see this option of running services okay so just select it okay so once you select it here it will show you all the apps that are still running in the background and if you want to close any of these apps okay so any of these apps if you want to close you can close it from here for example if i want to close this app let's say edge panel i just select it and here you see this option of stop okay so once you stop it uh, it will stop running in the background so from the running services you can see all of the apps that are running in the background and if you want to stop them you can stop it from here the next developer option is about the speed of your tablet so if you want to increase the speed of your tablet okay and you want to open your apps more faster more smoother so you can enable this option go into the settings and then go into the developer options okay once you enter into the developer options then scroll down okay and you will see an option of windows animation scale so i will scroll down more and i will show you here okay so here we have three different options you can see the first option is windows animation scale just select it so currently it is animation scale 1x so you have to make it 0.5x so animation scale 0.5x i just selected okay so you can see here it is now selected now i go to the second option it says transition animation scale just select it and make it 0.5x as well okay and then the third one is animator duration scale just select it and then select it to 0.5x as well so now everything is done once you finish this setting you will see a huge difference uh, in the speed of your tablet okay so now you can see the apps are open more faster okay so you can see over here i can easily scroll down i can easily switch between different apps okay so you can see they are opening more faster 
okay so you will see a huge difference uh, in your tablet speed after this setting the next developer option is about refresh rate if you want to see the refresh rate of your tablet you can enable this setting just go into the settings okay and then again we will go into the developer options okay and here you have to scroll down okay and you will see an option of uh, refresh rate so i will show you so the option is show refresh rate okay so this is the option okay so you just enable it okay so now once i enable it here on you see on your left top corner you see the refresh rate it is now showing as 60 okay so you can see over here it will remain over here and it will show you whatever the refresh rate of your tablet the next setting is about usb default configuration so guys when you connect uh, your tablet with the laptop it always asks you if you want to charge it only or you want to transferring files but with this uh, setting what you can do is it will never ask and whatever default setting you select it will go according to that i will show you so if you select settings and then uh, go into the developer options and then scroll down and you will see this option of default USB configuration so I will show you so here is the default USB configuration just select it so here you can see it is showing you different options okay so whatever option you select for your default USB configuration it will go according to that so now for example i select this transferring files okay now whenever i connect my tablet with the laptop it will never ask me again if i want to charge it or if i want to transferring files so it will directly do the process it will directly go to the transferring files option guys the next setting is about sensors so if you don't want any apps to use your sensor you can enable the settings for example i open the camera you can see it will not allow me to open the camera because i turn on this sensor off option so how to enable it just go into the settings go into the developer options okay and here uh, scroll down and you see this option of quick setting developer tiles just select it so once you select it here you see this option of sensors off so you can see i already enable it so if it is disabled and you want to use the sensors off option just enable it so guys as i enable this sensors off option you will see a new option in your quick setting menu so if i just scroll down you see there is a new option now available it says sensors off okay and i turned it on okay so now for example if i try to turn on the camera it will not allow me because i turn on this sensors of option the next setting is about dark mode so for example i uh, scroll down and i select this option of dark mode okay so once i select this dark mode all the apps will start working in the dark mode for example i open the samsung notes now you can see it is also open in the dark mode but there are some apps that will not work in the dark mode for example this amazon app i just selected so you can see over here it is not opening in the dark mode so if you want to force these apps to open in the dark mode you can enable these settings just go into the uh, settings okay and then uh, go into uh, this option of developer options okay once you enter into the developer option now here i will scroll down okay and i will show you the option of force dark mode okay so i will show you i will scroll down okay and here is the option of force dark mode you can see this and it says force apps to use dark mode even if not fully supported just enable it okay now now it is enabled now what i will do i will just try to open this amazon app again okay so now you can see it is now opening in the dark mode okay so you can see so this is how you can enable this setting okay so this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much